Okay, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how lists work. Now, all contacts, all people that you um, correspond with, with the software, live in one or more lists. It's sort of an organizational tool within the software here. And if you look over here in the quick navigation on the left, you'll see that I have no lists. So I'm gonna go and use the lists overview box on the, from my dashboard to show you all the lists I have. You see, there's none in there. So let's create one right now. We're going to call it the um, training demo list. And uh, you can give a description if that's helpful um, to whatever purposes you have. And there we go. And now you can start um, adding contacts to this list. And we've got a number of different ways that um, you can look in other videos how, how you can get contacts. You can either import them. Uh, you can generate um, leads lists right here in the software, but I'm just going to show you for the purpose of this video manually, oops, not creating a list, but um, clicking into that list now with my left hand uh, navigation, you'll now see that training demo list appears. I can click on that to view this list. And um, uh, you can see all the different fields uh, are labeled up top, but there are no contacts yet in this list. So here we're going to create a new lead, a new individual a contact. So uh, I, I'm going to put uh, just a make-believe person named Mark Twain Bot. Um, I'll leave some of these fields blank, but uh, I do want to give him a phone number. So I'm going to use 617. This is another phone number of mine that I've created in Twilio for purposes of this demo. And um, uh, you can see you can add emails and websites. Um, you can use social media um, links if you happen to know that those that information for that person or custom links of your own. Uh, but when adding a manual contact, it's important down at the bottom that you check off this, I have permission to contact these persons because um, that's a compliance you need to have. So we're going to save that contact. And there it is. Um, one other thing I need to do when I go over here um, into this contact um, under summary, if you scroll down, you'll see that as of right now, the, the software defaults to putting this as a landline. I happen to know that that is a cell phone number. And a landline is fine if I want to use Chirply to call Mark. But for some of the features I'm going to be demonstrating, I want to be able to also send text messages, SMSs. So I'm going to specify that that is a cell number. And I'm going to save Mark's um, uh, file or his, his contact. So there we go. We got a single contact in here. We just know a name. We know a phone number. And uh, that's all I added in here. You'll see that these are zeroed out because we've not had any correspondence yet, Mark and myself. But uh, you'll see that in another video shortly.